After three fun days, we left Georgetown. The wind was a bit high and the waves were slapping against the boat in the slip. Hopefully the island cuts will not be too rough today. I guess we'll find out. One look in your eyes and I find it When you're leaving my mind I rewind it When you got it this good you don't fight it So we just left the Exuma Yacht Club uh, where we spent I guess three days. Uh, it's a, it's a you know, good location, it's right by Lake Victoria. Uh, the, the, the dock's a little bit run down. They're trying to rebuild it. It looks like it was damaged in a hurricane. A lot of the area was, uh, but it's very centrally located. It was kind of a, a, a tough uh, getting out of the dock because we had two foot waves coming across this sound area. Uh, right in the, the wind was blowing in that direction. The waves were coming in that direction. So it made it a little, a little tricky getting out and it's a little bit shallow, but it's, it's completely doable, nothing to worry about. Uh, we are now going to go out into the uh, the Exuma Sound, where I hear it's going to be three or four footers, maybe four seconds. So it's going to be a little bit of a rocky ride, and then we're going to try and cut in at Rudder, Rudder's Key Cut, and uh, maybe uh, anchor out there for a day or so. So we'll see you along the way. I just wanted to add something because where we were docked at, what winds were bad for that? That we had the big crashing waves at the. Uh, well, they were generally running 15 to 18 knots, but in the, the angle they were coming, which was southeast, was the exact angle to run right along the water. Um, so while that really, they're good winds when you're on the other side of the exhibit, when you're at the bank, but when you're in the sound, it's not the greatest direction for winds. And that's uh, so it made it a little bit choppy, especially when we were docking. The waves were hitting us all night long, uh, each night. Uh, they weren't moving the boat so much, but they were smacking against the uh, stern. It which, sounded like Typhoon Lagoon. Yeah, it sounded a lot worse than it was. Yeah. That's all I wanted to add. Okay, well, we're off. We'll see you there. High clouds drifting away, leaving those shadows under. First step out of the make, follow. Triton, Triton, Aurora. This is Triton on 6-8. Hi, I just wanted to actually know um, what's the depth that you got there where you're crossing now? Uh, let's see. It's uh, 10 feet right now. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Georgetown this morning. We're back in Rudder Key and this time we are taking the small inflatable tender over to the cave and then we're going to go look for the mermaid. Feels like you should have been sent to. Wish us luck. Cut. <laughs>
After exploring the cave, we decided to look for the mermaid and piano. We had a rough idea where she was, so we tied the dinghy up and swam about 100 yards from shore. After a while, we found the mermaid, but we were so tired from swimming, none of us managed to dive close enough for a good video. We decided to call it a day, but vowed to come back tomorrow and give it another go. We got an early start and headed back to the mermaid. I would love to say we got some great shots of us sitting with her at the piano. However, swimming from shore and a strong current was exhausting. Next time we try this, we are going to anchor the tender closer to her. And maybe, just maybe, I should spend a little bit more time on the treadmill in the off season. On the way back to Triton, we noticed the sun was shining down through the opening in the cave and it just looked really cool so we had to stop again. <laughs> 